Hello, today I'm going to show you how to screen share in a Flipgrid. So first I want to point out some new things about Flipgrid that have changed. So you open to an actual topic now and you have to click here to see other topics. So if there are several topics in one grid that you need to view, these three lines are where you would get to them. Once you are on the topic that you would like to leave a response for, you'll go down to click record a response. Notice it is now a red circle rather than the green plus that you had. So your video for creating your response opens up. You can click the red and this will start counting down and then you would record your video. I'm recording my video and then I'm clicking pause. That's for making a regular video. If you want to screen share, you click here for options. Here is where you would record your screen. You click there and you start your screen recording. Just like other programs that you can choose whether you want to use your entire screen, your application window, or choose a Chrome tab. I'm going to choose a Chrome tab and I have a slide presentation that I'm going to share. So I open my slide presentation. From here, you can then go through, present your slides, you could present um, any website that you would want to share with the students, anything that you would want to share as a student, maybe you'd want to share a presentation that you've created. So you go through, present everything you want to present. Then at the top here, on the top left, you press the blue stop button to stop sharing your screen. Then you would have to go back to your tab for Flipgrid. It's going to play the video that you've made. So notice it starts off with the video and then you would regular, record your video. And then it goes to what I did for screen sharing. From here you can choose to add more. You can add more video of yourself or add another screen share. Once you're done you may click next. It gives you the same options that you've always had where you put in a display name, you can give it a title, you can do whatever you want as far as putting a little thumbnail for it, and then you would go ahead and click submit and submit your response. That's all it takes and I hope this helps.